Hello friends, it's Saga from Arvis Artist and today I'm gonna show you how to bring your images to life doing things like this. It's a combination of still image and animation or video and it's called Cinemagraph. We all know that animations take ages to render and this small Cinemagraph took 20 minutes to render. We did another tutorial about cinemagraphs before. If you haven't watched it, I pulled the link into the corner. Last time we used the animated curtain and now we'll use the tap water. Now let's jump into 3ds Max. Here is the scene we will use. I set everything up before. We'll create a basic flow from the top. First, we have to create an emitter object. Let's loop the edges of the top here and create the shape from the selection. Then, let's convert it to editable poly. The important thing here is to make sure the normal is correct. If it's facing the top, we have to flip it. I remove materials so we can see it better. To create this Phoenix animation, let's select the emitter object and click on this icon. This is a quick preset for the water. A liquid simulator and a liquid source object are created. We have to adjust the scale of the simulator. Let's move it down and increase the size in the grid rollout. We have to position it in the way that the emitter object is inside the grid and we don't see the bottom part of the grid. Next, select the Phoenix source and add our circle as an emitter. We can make the simulation faster by decreasing the total cells number. Then go to simulation and click start. Wait for a few frames and stop it to check how it works. It's a bit too fast, so let's decrease the outgoing velocity in the thinning source. This will make the water flow slower. Let's simulate it again. Looks great! Now, let's increase the resolution and make the final simulation.
I will adjust the focus point of the camera to be on the water. Make sure you have a motion blur option turned on, as it will make a big difference on the water animation. Material is already created. You can tweak it if you like. Let's make the emitter invisible. When it's done, render one frame with the water hidden. Open Adobe Premiere Pro and import the image we just rendered. Drag and drop it into the timeline to create a new sequence. Click here with the control button hold to change the time preview to frames. Let's make it 120 frames long. It will last 5 seconds. Looks great! Go back to 3ds Max and unhide the water model. I will render only 12 frames and duplicate it later in Premiere Pro. Lastly, adjust the render range. Remember to save the images. We don't have to render the whole thing. Set up the region. When it's rendered, import it in Premiere Pro. Make sure to check the image sequence option. Drag and drop it into the timeline and duplicate it 10 times. Here is how it looks. If you need, you can add an adjustment layer on top and do some color correction. To export the cinema graph, go to File, Export and Media or click Ctrl plus M. Choose the H264 format, it will give you an MP4 file. Here you can specify file location, we don't need audio. Select Render at Maximum Depth option. Set Target Bitrate to 50 and Maximum Bitrate to 70. Lastly, make sure the option Use Maximum Render Quality is turned on. Click Export. I 
encourage you to create your own cinemagraphs. Use Artvisartis hashtag on Instagram so I can see them. If you want to know everything about animations in 3D, I'd like to invite you to check out our animation course where we show you step by step how to create outstanding animations. Click here to check it out on our website. If you have any questions regarding the training, text us on Facebook or Instagram. Bye bye!